<laughs> hey guys, we are here in Atlanta, here with my good buddy Cam. And Cam, I have to thank you so much for allowing me to film your tank. Uh, Cam is going to be in Tank Wars for the Nano Division. And it was so hard for me to find this last nano tank in Atlanta, you know, my, where I live. It, it, so I really appreciate it. I really uh, appreciate it. No problem. I really, really appreciate you coming out. No, no problem. And so Vinny, uh, the Atlanta Reef guy, for those of you who know him, uh, he introduced me to Cam and we got over here and got things set up. And, uh, you know, initially we weren't going to do a behind the scenes. Uh, video, but I got to talking to Cam and Vinny told me, you know, so much about you and I was telling you my story and I just thought it was really a, a awesome story of how you got into the aquarium. How yeah, you? yeah, it took a long time. I uh, started out in freshwater mm -hmm. and then... Like most of us. Yeah, yeah, then I got onto like a bartering kick on Craigslist, which is real cool. And I met a couple buddies and they got me into salt water and got my first tank and really it was kind of nerve-wracking at first mm -hmm. uh, it's it a lot to take in mm -hmm. now and what was it the equipment or the maintenance what was it that um, was kind of nerve-wracking not really the maintenance as much because I had a lot of friends that were gonna help me mm -hmm. but more so just keeping the coral alive that was pretty scary mm -hmm. I was I mean it's, it's a lot different when you have fake plants compared to live coral mm -hmm. that actually is a living being it's like another fish so, yeah. and also, uh -huh. it goes from $11 to $100, so, eh, that makes a big difference. So, um, now, now, some people may know it about me, some people may not, but when I got into uh, filming uh, the aquarium hobby, I was a recruiter for years, and then I found out that, you know, I had, well, not, not a lot of people know, I, I did announce it in one video, but, you know, I have a, a brain tumor, and things are going better for me now, but, um, you know, that's what kind of motivated me to say hey you know what I, i've always wanted to you know make a channel and i'm just gonna go all for it and uh got me more into the hobby too loving the hobby and so you have a unique kind of story too of how you got into the aquarium hobby which is a little bit different than mine yeah yeah just a little bit but uh no well like i started out and i was kind of you know touchy here and go mm -hmm. here and go but i really got into it because once I broke my neck in an ocean accident, uh, I happened in 08. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, how did that happen? Uh, you know, like when you're running down the ocean and you're running with all your friends and you're going to dive mm -hmm. under the wave so it didn't just crash into your face. Yeah. Well, I was diving under a wave and I hit a sandbar and it hit right here on my head and instantaneously broke a couple vertebrae in my neck, was paralyzed instantly. and. Couldn't push up off the ground, obviously, couldn't yeah. move my arms. So I pretty much drowned. I was underwater for about two or three minutes, and it seemed like a lifetime. Of course, yeah. But uh, it was really weird because I was awake the whole time. Mm -hmm. So the whole time I was in my head like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So eventually I just blew all my air out, sucked in, got really cold, and then I blacked out. And I guess I floated up on shore. And I had a couple of family members up there on the beach, mm -hmm. and they ran down and pulled me out. And I came to when I was being dragged up on the beach, and yeah, and then from there it was ambulance, hospital, ICU for months, and then very intense therapy for a long time. And that was that was probably the worst part of it. And you mm -hmm. told me that the aquarium now is kind of part of your ther therapy. Yeah. How did? your accident get into your tank how did that part happen well get more so around? like the the mental part of it mm -hmm. I, I was I was at home a lot mm -hmm. I still am yeah and I was kind of falling apart to be honest yeah and it gave me something really to do to keep my mind happy mm -hmm. kind of keep me at a even keel hey you know it gives you something to do and it keeps me really busy and I really got into it more because of that. Now how did you get the tank? Like so was it a friend, a family member who introduced you to the saltwater uh, hobby? How did that happen? Well it was my friend actually uh, Brandon. Mm -hmm. he, he's a good friend. He helped me out a lot. Especially in the beginning because mm -hmm. I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> like and, most of us. Yeah. It was a lot. It was rough. And uh, we 
got together a lot. He, I met him off Craigslist, as mm -hmm. I said, and uh, he brought the tank over, and he ended up giving me a couple little pieces of coral, just easier soft coral to get me into the hobby. Now, is it this tank here? No, yeah, yeah, this it one. I started out with that one, yeah, and I love it. I've kept it since, and try to keep it in the best shape I can. So he had an ad on Craigslist, and you answered it uh, yeah. for the tank, and then ever since, yeah, you've yeah. been... Now, how, how many years has that been? Uh, Almost three. Three years? It's been a long time, so... Yeah, no, we're, and we're still friends. It's great, and he helps me anytime he can. He works a lot, but... Mm -hmm. Anytime he gets a free chance, he stops by and helps me out. And uh, from there, I went to ARC, and that's a great site. Mm -hmm. And I met a lot of people there that have tremendously helped me. And, and like Vinny, yeah. uh, which uh, some people uh, probably don't know, Vinny's here, and Vinny has helped you out with your tank, yeah, too. Yeah, you have no idea. He's done a lot. Especially lately, he's been helping me with corals. I've got a lot of new coral, Yeah, and he knows a lot about it and that's been really helpful so now um you're going to be on tank wars what, yeah. what, what do you what do you think about about that when i i said hey you know i need you i need your tank can you please be on tank wars man, i'll be honest man i was like <laughs> i'm not ready I'm <laughs> that's not what ready. everyone says i know but <laughs> no i mean i love my tank yeah and whether anybody else likes it that's their mm. own opinion you yeah. know and <laughs> I mean, we got tornado we got sirens, going. Tornado sirens <laughs> going. Not sure if you guys can hear it. We're back. Uh, the siren has stopped. Yeah. Tornado siren. And uh, we were talking about you were saying that um, when I when I first uh, said, "Hey, I, I really need you to be on Tank Wars." Well, well, Vinny did it for me. You said your tank wasn't ready. Yeah. No. <laughs> I sent him a picture. I was like, "Look, man, I got this. It looks great to me. I love it. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can put it on there if you want." We'll shoot mm. it, and hopefully you guys like it just as much. So, it's a beautiful tank, and oh, I it love definitely it. is. It is definitely beautiful. So. You know, you, you know, <laughs> in the behind the scenes, I know I frustrate people because I don't show them the tank, but we can't give it away. You can see a little yeah. bit of it uh, uh, over my shoulder, but um, let me tell you, it's definitely worth it. Uh, it was definitely worth the wait. It took me months, um, you know, to 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 find you. To, to get the tank and so I'm really thankful. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm really thankful for you sharing your story. I think it's an awesome story. Um, I think Vinny over here who's hiding, you know, on the side <laughs> for introducing me to you and yeah. I, I really appreciate it and I, I can't wait. Uh, tank Wars will start on April uh, 24th. It will start with the Nano Division. So your tank will be the first one for Tank Wars Season 1 that goes up. Oh yeah, very right. excited. All right, well, thanks a lot, Cam. Really a pleasure meeting you. Yes, always. A very big opportunity for myself. All right, thanks.